my name is Kaushik and welcome back to Let Code. In this video, we are going to see how to interact with alerts using protector. Alerts are classified in three ways. The first one is simple, where as soon as I click on the button, we can see that we got an alert. It's like, hey dude, you just clicked me. You have to accept me. You do not have any other choice. So an alert with only one option is known as simple alert. Then we have this confirm alert, which is not judgmental as our simple alert. It is going to give us two options. Either you can do the accept or the dismiss. That is, if you love this, you can click or say OK. If you don't, you can just ignore it by saying cancel or in technical, I can say dismiss, accept and dismiss. And then we have this third type, which is like, hey, dude. I didn't disturb you. Why the hell you disturbed me? You have to answer me. So just kidding. That means you have to type something within the alert that is not mandatory. That is option based on the test scenario, I can say, or the website implementation. So in this type of alert, we have to give some text and then we can either accept or dismiss. And the last one is sweet alert, which is not belongs to this guys, I can say, because these are window based alert so if i click on this this is going to give me alert or small pop-up that is coming from your dom i can say that means we can inspect on this element and we can click on this but in terms of this windows alert we cannot do inspect so if i go to right click here we can see that we are not able to get any option that means whenever we are going to get an alert like this this is going to block our enter dom so we have to handle this alert then we have to move further without handling this obviously we cannot do anything so already i have a spec file which has described and before all and also i have loaded the url and then i have a configuration file where i have disabled the selenium promise manager and here i have specified my spec file now we know that in protector we have a specific locator called button text so if i inspect on the simple button we can see that it has a button tag and the text is going to be simple. So I'm just going to copy that and here I have to say await element and then by dot button text and within that I have to pass the value and then we know that we have to click on that. As soon as I click on that it is going to give me alert right. So here I can say await and then I can say browser dot switch to is the method through which we can switch our focus from our DOM to the alert. So switch to and then followed by alert. And then I have only one option here, right? So here it's going to be accept. It can be dismissed as well, but whatever we are going to, that is not going to affect anything. The reason is very simple. If I click on this, it is going to give us OK. That means if I click on enter, it is going to accept. If I click on escape, it is going to accept as well so either accept or dismiss it is not going to be much affected on this simple alert but of course based on the implementation it can be changed as well so here i'm going to say accept and now notice carefully when i do this here we can see it's giving us another await within this that means it is going to wait for the alert to resolve the promises then it is going to accept now, do I have to write two times await? Not necessary. I just can remove this. Now here I'm going to add semicolon so that we can see our code has been aligned or else JavaScript will think that this both the codes are same line. In certain times it happens. So at that point we can use the semicolon to split the lines. Now I'm going to run this. So I already have another eight blocks as well. So I'm just going to focus on this and let me open up my terminal. And here I have to navigate within my folder and then as usual, I'm going to say protector and then followed by the file name. That is our conf.js. The spec has been executed successfully, but we couldn't see any alert, right? 
The reason is it was very fast. So I'm just going to pause for a while so I can say browser.sleep and maybe around three seconds. Okay, so we see that still it did, didn't wait for the alert to appear and we can also see that we have given three seconds but it didn't wait. The reason is here we forgot to add a wait. Now I said that in our previous video as well that whenever we are going to disable the Selenium Promise Manager of course we have to use the await in front of each and every line or else it is going to behave I mean it is going to do some misbehavior like this. So here I'm going to add the await keyword again and let me run this again. Okay, so the alert has been appeared and we are waiting for a few seconds, then it is going to accept that. Now here we can see run one of four spec, that means obviously our test case has been passed, right? And next one, we are going to see how to handle the confirm alert. Now we know that we can use the button text. So I have already set it that. So again, I'm going to say browser dot switch to dot alert. And here I'm going to say dismiss. We are just going to click on this cancel button here. Okay. So to click on the OK button, we have to use the accept function and to click on the cancel button we have to click on we have to use this dismiss function so again it is going to be very quick so i'm just going to add another sleep over here i'm going to focus this alone and i'm going to run my test case again so we got the button I mean the alert and also it has been dismissed now let's say that we want to also get the text when i click on this it says that press a button now we want to get this text as well right so for that we have a method called get text so here i can use like browser dot switch to dot alert dot get text is the function now we know that this is going to return us um string so i'm just going to log that straight away in my console.log and let me run again okay so we got the text and it is going to wait for a few seconds then we are facing some issue that says that no such alert the reason is very simple it is expected as well because here we are dismissing the alert first then we are trying to get the text from the alert so in that scenario obviously we will get an exception saying that no search alert so please remember whenever there is going to be alert and if you want to do some actions like uh, type into that or we are want to get the text from that we have to do that first then we have to dismiss last or accept in the last or else it is going to throw us error so i'm going to bring that up and i'm going to clear my console and run again so we also learned an exception if you don't handle the alert we will get okay so obviously my pro my test case has been passed and here we can see that we are getting a string um, a text a press a button with the promise manager now of course we can resolve this by using the await keyword again here so first it is going to resolve this promises and then we are going to the get the text alone so let me rerun this okay so here we can see that now we are getting only the text which is present in the alert but in our previous scenario we got the promise as well that the reason is very simple we didn't use the await after getting the text i hope this makes sense to you now we'll see another type of alert which is going to be our prompt alert so this guy we have to pass some value then we can click on accept or dismiss 
we know that whenever we are going to use the function call send case, it is going to append the value, right? So in terms of alert, I can say that it is not going to happen in the same way. It is going to clear the text, whatever present within the alert, and then it is going to type in that. That is how alert normally behaves in terms of JavaScript. So here we can say await browser dot switch to dot alert and we are going to do two actions one is we are going to type on this and then we are going to click on this ok button that is accept function so i can store that in a variable let's say alert and then i can use that object to do something so for example alert dot send case and within that i'm going to pass my name that is kaushik and here again we have to say await and then we are going to accept this right so await alert that is the object name and then accept so accept is the function now let me quickly run this so before running that i'm just remove this f and i'm going to make this as f so that it can focus only on this spec i mean this block so i'm just going to run again notice carefully we got this alert and also we are able to see the text but it didn't clear or typed anything but actually it did in our web let code in our LetCode website, we do not have any implementation to verify that the text has been appeared or not. But you can trust me because in terms of window based alert, whatever the value we are going to type or clear, it is not going to be visible in the alert. So of course, we know that, right? So let's move on to the next one. So I'm just going to remove this F here. And here I'm going to make this as focus. And here we have this sweet alert. Now, as the name suggests, it is going to be very sweet. And it says that, hey, users, I love you. Of course, I love my subscriber. So if you are new here, please kindly do your support to the channel. So here we can see that we are getting a button called OK. So I'm just going to click on that. Now, here you have noticed I'm able to inspect this. So it is going to be as usual, like whatever the element we are going to click on that, we are going to get that. So same as our other elements, right? So here I can say await and element and within that by dot button text and here I have to pass the value then probably I can just do the click action here. Right. This is going to be very simple as we do our each and every um, normal web elements but in terms of alert it is going to be different. So here we have to switch on this then we have to call the alert function then based on that we can do whatever the action we need to perform. So this is going to be very simple. I'm just going to add some sleep so that we can see the pop up. Maybe two seconds is fine I think. And then I'm just going to execute this. Okay, so the most important questions whenever uh, if the interview is going to ask about in alerts, I can say the common repetitive questions are like uh, what happens if there is an alert with four buttons like OK, Cancel, Yes and No. The answer is going to be very simple. We know that in alerts we have only three types that is our simple alert where we will get only one button and we have this confirm alert where we will get two buttons and this prompt alert it is going to give us a text box and few other buttons but if there is a four button or multiple buttons then obviously it is not an alert it is going to be a simple web element so based on that of course you can just inspect and you can click on that as we do our regular web element stuff right and then there are also a question that you have two input fields in an alert then I can say it's not an alert. It is a window authentication pop-up. Okay. For example, if I show you, so here in this Heroku app, we have something called basic alert. I mean, digest authentication. It is, it looks like an alert, but it is not an alert. It is your window authentication. Okay. We will see that in later on videos. As of now, I'm going to skip on this.
Of course, we have to learn the exception as well. So already we have discussed that no search alert. That means if there is a no alert and if you are going to handle that, obviously we will get no search element. I mean no search alert. And I think that there is an alert and we are not going to handle that. At that point, let's see what happens. So I'm just going to remove this and here I'm going to focus on this alone. And let's say that before clicking on this button text, that means we didn't still get any alert, but I'm trying to handle this. Let's let me run this. So here we will get no such alert as we discussed earlier. Now let's say that I have got this alert. So once click on the simple button, I'm going to get the alert. But what I'm doing is I'm trying to print the title here. So await dot, I mean await then browser dot get title. So get title is the function which is used to get the title from our active page. Now let's try to run this. Again, in this scenario, we are going to face an exception. So as expected, our test case has been failed. And let's see, here it says that unexpected alert open and also it is giving us the um, promise text of that alert box, right? So unexpected alert open means there is an alert, but we are not handling this. So obviously in that scenario, we'll get this exception. So let's quickly recap. So we know that we have simple alert, which is going to give only one button. In this scenario, accept or dismiss, both are going to do the same task. And then we have this confirmation where it is going to give us two box, I mean two uh, prompt like OK or cancel. So accept or dismiss. Then we have this prompt type, which is like we can type something and then we can do either accept or dismiss. And finally, this guy's feed, which is like, just simple inspect any web element and then just do whatever you wanted to do right and the exceptions are like one is unexpected alert open that is when there is an alert and if you don't handle that we will get this and another one is no such alert if there is no alert and we are trying to handle that at that point we'll get this so i hope you have enjoyed the video and you have learned about the alerts in detail if you have any queries, please do let me know in the comments and also please subscribe to the channel. Thanks for being here. See you in the next one very soon.